It is any homeowner's nightmare. Imagine coming home to find raw sewage in every single room. Well, tonight a Grand Prairie woman says she's desperate for any kind of solution. Jobin Panicker reports. I'll take storms over poop any day. Kimberly Miller probably never thought she'd say that. The sewage that has dried underneath. But you'll understand after you see her parents' Grand Prairie home of more than 30 years. I, d I don't even know what to do next. I'm kind of at a loss. I'm, I'm at a stalemate right now. The long anticipated remodel stopped when her heart nearly did, seeing raw sewage flow out of her bathroom and into every room of her home in some parts, two inches. Ron McCuller is the public works director. When there's a stoppage, the, the sewage backs up and it's going to flow out at the lowest point it can find. There are pictures to prove it. Video too. The city says there was a backup in the main line at the same time Kimberly's commode was out. Her home was the path of least resistance. Well, you couldn't even come in here. It was the, the stench. It was you couldn't even get past the front door. The city called in a cleaning company after Kimberly's claim to the city's insurance was denied. We certainly uh, uh, didn't have to do that, but uh, uh, we do that as a courtesy just to suck up what sewage they can. When the water subsided, just settled down there. Kimberly says the cleaning company did not move furniture because of policy. The city confirmed that. There's raw sewage still stuck to her floors. She has made attempts to clean it. I just know that it's filthy. Kimberly says her floor needs to be replaced after it was saturated for hours. The city even offered a second cleaning, but ultimately said it is not responsible in these cases. Ron says the city was not negligent and was responsive. He was planning to come in for the holidays and now there's no place. Her son, who is serving overseas, had plans to bring the family over for Thanksgiving. At this rate, that is unlikely. Kimberly walks from towel to towel and there's a fan on in every room. And that's how she's been living for the last two months. Jim Panicker, Channel 8 News. We learned tonight that a